It's so weird, guys. I don't know. Let's just finish the game so we get out of this fresh hell. And hope that it was just, you know, uh, this one game. And not OBS in general. Even though I didn't really update or did anything to OBS. Anyway, I just realized that the intro screen was actually the place I was resting at. That was really nice. That was really cool. So, I had a long climb ahead of me. And I can definitely see uh, LBS is already cutting my chat. That's, that's just great. So, I saw climbing. Ooh, hang on. Right. What are you doing? Okay. Rest, uh... Oh, Pidok. Dude, what the hell? What is happening? I can't grab onto those things anymore for some reason. Should reset everything. Oh, including my okay. How tired I was. Very good. So that should be enough for me to. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay, there we go. I made it. This is a fixed office day. Wednesday, I'd like to work from home for family reasons. My unpopular pick is that I might want to work on the company on Friday. By Friday, though. Like, isn't that like the day you're technically the most tired after working all the week? And, I mean... Having to drive on the Friday as well. Unless you're not particularly tired on a Friday. This morning I forgot to put leggings in my drink, but drank it anyway. And then cried tears of joy because my toast was so delicious. I'm so wound up I can't get anything done. I don't know if I should blame the drought, the evacuations that started at the end of the world anyway. I've got shrooms to grow. What a weird message. Hmm. Ooh. What is this? Is that like a hourglass? Of rain? Telling me the way to make it rain. Am 
Why would I want to go down there? Yeah, no, we're going this way. Oh god. You jump into assumption without reading the whole chat. Did you miss the part where I don't get a chat update because this game is literally fucking with my OBS? That's all the messages I had. <laughs> That's because uh, there are less to no people in the company, which means I can work in peace. Plus, our canteen tends to offer some nice things on Friday. Also, traffic is less on the street. Oh, that's weird. Would occasionally close early on Fridays? That would be also a great reason. No. Ah. Probably tends to be less work on the relaxed day. I mean, if it is less work, then go for it. Hey, I mean, whatever works, right? Yeah, sorry guys, I don't get... I, I, this game is fucking with OBS. I don't get chat updates. I literally have to tab in and out of the game. Sometimes I just get random messages. Sometimes it skips ones. I don't know why it's doing that. I just... It's this game. I hope. I hope it's this game. Because if it's not this game, then my OBS is fucked and I don't know how to fix it. Also, the, um, the, 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 the layout blacking out yesterday, they just fixed itself when I restarted it yesterday. I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's another weird effect of this game, but it's kind of annoying. Yeah, bear with me. I can't read, can't see messages very well. What did I find? Ooh, one of those. The game wants you to focus on it instead of the chat. I mean, I... They should have asked. <laughs> I can... I can slightly multitask. Sound of the gates being opened and closed. This was supposed to be some sort of canal, wasn't it? It's completely dry now. <laughs> Say no to locks. Watering people should be able to flow freely. We can't deny the many for the sake of the few. In the current crisis is our duty to stand in solidarity with living things. Confine the waters to confine the soul. Regular information session at the market canteen. The White Water Collective. They we're starting to go a little water crazy. What I'm getting. I've seen a letter from Bianca in a while. I've had to sneak in unbans for me while you're busy <laughs> with the game. I mean, Hex is free to do that if he wants to uh, free himself of the uh, modding privileges. Community Canteen, upcoming activities, permanent team to fight water insecurity, fundraising dinners for the White Water Collective, repair workshop, all items accepted. Note the canteen will now open one prime earlier to reduce overcrowding. Pay what you can, help in the kitchen, arrive early in the sleep, all help or welcome. Yeah. We're trying to form some sort of group pro water for everybody. 
I suppose. You can usually spot Bianca's notes from the little, um, little statues she makes. Like the wood carving stuff. Okay, so that goes all the way up there. But then what's that middle thing? Oh, I can't latch onto it. Fair enough. to go okay Farty things. Okay, so I can easily get there. Oh, there we go. Oh no, this is the Gazette. Brella Gazette, issue 37. Editorial. In the issues of the Gazette, we'll be looking at an animal from the outside for once. The wave beak. Wave beaks are the only animals found in every region of the tower. Every known region, at least. Sometimes they even venture into our tunnels. These medium-sized birds are known for their all-white feathers and blue comb. It's not uncommon to see the playful birds gliding through the warm drafts that rise up in the cliff of the tower. They're also extremely curious and can often be found perched near climbing routes, observing and commenting on what's happening with their fellow birds. Not only are we big social creatures, they're also skilled builders. They work together to build their nests, which have multiple entrances and can house dozens of wee beaks. They're constantly strengthening and expanding their nests and are always on the lookout for twigs, hence the expression working like a wee beak. Did you know that wee beaks combs open and close depending on their mood? A wide open comb means that the wave beak is alert or stressed about something, or someone. But enough chatter, keep reading for an in-depth look at the lives of these outwardly assuming yet fascinating birds. The editor. I've only read the editorial and I'm already outraged. It all sounds very nice, but you might want to think twice before publishing such nonsense. The beaks are thieves. They're always stealing my wood to build a nest. I'm unsubscribing. Signed a disgruntled citizen. <laughs> This problem affects me and me only, so I don't agree with you. And you're wrong. Okay. Oh, Alright, so... Oh, there we go, my OBS. I'm going completely dark. Alright, so where are we going now? There's another grapple thing up there. So maybe if I latch onto this one. Uh, then nothing really happens. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I saw that. I saw that. Hang on. There we go. Oh, it was just another one of those. Fair enough. Hmm. 
That took me all the way there. That rope is so janky. Kind of. Kind of really janky. Ooh, what's this? Come now, dear friend. Enough moving around. The situation isn't as hopeless as that. I'm quite certain the water supply is being managed by some very competent people. I have no, yeah, right. I have no doubt that they they have a clever plan to get us out of this mess. Believe me, there's no cause for concern. Are you still coming over for tea? We filled the basin. They like a bit of swimming to chase away the blues. There was water scarcity, and these guys were just swimming in the swimming pool. Fantastic. So now I have secured myself over here. Now I just grabbed onto one of these. And it's kind of getting stuck. Where are we going? Dude, you're taking me to the, the wrong place. Where am I trying to go even? Help me, dear friends. There you go. Okay. And now what? Now we grab onto these. Oh, please help me. Oh, that way. Goodness me. I lost the chat again. Oh, this is definitely something. Hang on, let me see if this is... Oh, this is not the right way. Okay, so we just... That. What a nice vertical inducing uh, camera angle. Very good. A weird wait a second hang on dash I hope this goes all the way back up it does okay then I can detach and there's another spinny thing You know, every time I see one of these things, I have a clear picture in my head of Eddie Murphy in The Golden Child uh, spinning that thing and like mixing it like it was some sort of DJ <laughs> singing to it, asking for the for, for the blade, for the dagger or whatever. <laughs> Do you remember that?
I gotta say, I'm not really happy usually about the Italian dubs of actors and movies, but the Eddie Murphy voice actor was definitely one of the absolute best voice actors we ever had in Italy. He was also the voice of Homer Simpson. And he unfortunately died way too early. He was like not even 60 years old a few years ago. It's a risk of voice acting, right? You have this actor that basically has the same voice for 30 years and then all of a sudden you have to switch voice because the voice actor died. I haven't seen another freaking Bianca's thing. That's sad. It was very good as well, like. Uh, am I not? Whoa, 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 whoa. What have you done? There you go. Literally one of the best voice actors we ever had in Italy. I think when he died, lots of people just stopped watching The Simpsons. And you know, kind of understandable at that point. It just wasn't the same. Probably being so iconic that you're irreplaceable before then. I thought the Mario voice actor would be doing the voice for everybody got replaced. <sighs> I mean, is Mario like his voice lines were mostly like woohoo! Wah! You know, I can do it. <laughs> I feel like someone skilled enough in making random voices uh could be like a suitable replacement. But it's, it's different when it's a voice that made so, so many movies that you inequivocally link to that person. Obviously recalled for the same jobs. I, I don't know. I mean... Was it Japanese? Might have something to do with like company loyalty or something like that. I mean, we know in video games they replace voice actors very easily, which is kind of sad. Is American? Really? Oh my! What is going on here? Oh! What the... Huh? Aren't they supposed to be underwater or something? 
What's with the rise of the jellyfishes? It looks like a water reservoir of some sort. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, look at what happened with Rick and Morty. I didn't even watch the new season, and I don't think I ever will at this point, but... They just replaced the guy. For no reason. Okay, there's something there, and there's something up there. And that's about it. I think a part of it is that it's just easier to replace. You uh, at least you would think that it would be easier to replace um, a cartoon character or a video game character because there is no real physical presence, right? But actually, they don't give a shit. They will replace you anyway. The thing is, it's not good because people get attached to the voices, the real one, or the, the, the one they think is the real one, you know? And then they get angry and then that literally breaks a show. I really do I go down just no way I don't have enough rope to go all the way down do I uh. no Oh, I see. I see it. I see it. I see it. <laughs> Holy crap, that is... that was not even close. How in the world? There you go. Put the thing down. All I know is that our Homer Simpson was very iconic. It was a little bit different from the original, from what I remember, but he managed to make the character his own and make it funny, kind of capture the same spirit, but using, uh, you know, his talent and putting something of his into the character, which was perfect for Homer Simpson. And nobody else came even close. Uh, I think they used another voice actor, which w which is a real actor, and it's just not the same. Sorry, Ida. I've got. I have to go to the market. The water inlet is acting up again. Things are starting to get complicated. I really thought that by holding back the water, but there's nothing to be done. The basin is empty. I think it's time for a more radical change. What would have happened if we let the water flow freely from the start? I'm boring you with my musings, but sometimes I get the feeling we've made a big mistake. There's a pier collapsing in the boatsman district. You think you could take care of it? Hey Joe, things are non-stop at the moment. I'll have to go fishing for a new team to shore it up. This is already over at Two Pillars' site. As for the other stuff, I don't know what to say. What's done is done. Alright, I'll pick the supplies I need, and then I'm off to the boatman district. I don't praise Italian voice actors often, and I can literally count on one hand the instances of very, very good voice acting. And I, I gotta say, that one, that one actor, 
was uh, was one of them. Hey, big guy. I hope you're well. You know, I still don't like the thought of you perched above that basin. It's too big. We just are made for the open air. You'd be better off in our tunnels, where it's cozier. You might have already heard, but Ant's barge is finally back on dry land. They can't drive it anymore, they say. But you should see them now. They've never been so busy. They're working at a Soros rescue center or some such thing, if you can believe it. Who'd want to save Soros, seriously? They always look so disgruntled, like they're judging us. But things haven't been easy for Anne, and they seem happy again. That's what matters. Uh, your father played the song for you. It was beautiful. May the currents be kind to you, whatever they are. Most times, voice acting for us, it's just... Okay? And by okay, I mean, the voices aren't terrible, but they do their job. The voice acting, a lot of things are just lost in translation. And that's your average experience with Italian uh, dubbing. There's a very rare case of real good voice acting where they manage to... Maybe sometime... Oh, hello. What are you doing on my rope? Get down. <laughs> uh, maybe sometimes they slightly change the character, but they do it in such an organic way, they give it a character that works for the show, and it's like a reinterpretation that's done very well, and it just works, but it's very, very rare. I think Scrubs is um, one good example of that. We have a, an amazing Italian version of Scrubs, and I think it's even better than the original one. And I say it basically for... I didn't think I said it for anything else, ever. And there you have the absolute terrible voice acting that you can tell it was a job and they didn't understand anything of the TV show. And unfortunately, there are many, many, many of those. And it's been uh, more and more frequent with newer TV shows. I think infamous examples are uh, How I Met Your Mother and The Big Bang Theory. In Italian, they suck so bad. They just completely... It's people that don't even know what the show is trying to do. And they just sound like they're making fun of the whole thing, you know? Potato chips or popcorn? Oh, what a question. I don't know, actually. I think I like both. If I had to choose and if I only had one choice, I would probably go for potato chips. Uh, but if we're talking kettle chips, you know, those kinds are my favorite. But from time to time, I do like my popcorns. I always have a little bag of seeds, you know, uh, corn seeds to pop at home. Whenever I feel like I just put the pan on and I make some popcorns. We're the water surveyors in the dark tunnels. We guide, clean, navigate rivers and streams. So the water called forth in the day in the sky can fill, nourish, cherish all living things. Whoa. That's no good. Uh, I'm assuming you're still talking about the uh, the TV show, but yeah, it, it's it's pretty bad. Like, Big Bang Theory is so atrocious. I think How I Met Your Mother is just bad dubbing, and they completely lost the meaning of the entire thing. But the Big Bang Theory is truly just the worst thing ever. And I'm not even going to mention how racist Raji sounds in it. <laughs> But it's not good at all. <laughs> it's very not good. <laughs> K 
can't decide what snack on your stream now. Is it more a popcorn stream or is it a potato shape? It's like, kind of like pom bar. Gonna ha I'm gonna have to Google that. Pom bar. Ooh, what are those? I think I know what they are. I would go for those. I would actually go for those right now. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a really big oof. This cave looks amazing, holy. Going for the Halloween Ghost Monster Chips then. That's the shape they got. I mean, that's... That's awesome. <laughs> it was probably more for a Halloween kind of stream, but... I, it still counts. I mean, today is the Day of the Dead anyway, so... I often wonder what would have happened if the rain had returned. Would we still have met? Would we have led parallel lives elsewhere, each of us unaware of the other's existence? As much as seeing the great basin drive more with each sleep fills me with despair, I can't help but be happy by your side. Oh, Wait. And then there's the infamous case of the nanny. Uh, I think I talked about it. It wasn't bad voice acting. But they basically destroyed um, the character. Because for some reason they decided that she was from Italy, from a specific region, and they basically replaced the entire Brooklyn accent with a random Italian accent, and the entire Jewish thing with another religious thing. You know, it was pretty bad. Especially nowadays, that would be like a diplomatic case. <laughs> That would not fly today at all. <laughs> but keep in mind that uh, it was a very different time in Italy. I mean, still to this day, we don't have any single English program. We don't have English voices ever on TV. Like, if you're lucky, you get the choice of the double language because your TV allows for it, but... Um, you just can't... you just don't hear natural English... programs. Everything is dubbed. Everything. Every single thing that's not from Italy... ...is instantly dubbed. Especially when it comes to Hollywood actors, you lose so much. I didn't even know how much I was missing out on some things. That's some very, very good actors and uh, you just... I just don't even know what you're missing out on, you know? Most people just don't know. I missed something, but... <laughs> 
so weird that we haven't seen a single Bianca. Letter. Uh, do you think this is... Go down here. Doesn't seem like there's anything here. Oh, this is nothing. Why can I not detach my rope? All right, little one. Let's have a pet. Eh? That doesn't reach. That still didn't reach. Okay. I mean, that worked. Can I just... There you go. I made it harder than it actually was. Out. Okay. <laughs> German voice actors are pretty good in my opinion, with the exception of some animes. Uh, there was a time where they tried to Japanese the German dubs. Which turned out cringy in my opinion. Mm. You know, I think some Italian voice actors are also pretty good. The problem is not... Uh, more often than not, it's not with the voice actors. It's mostly with the translation and the Italianization of everything. It doesn't happen anymore, but especially in the 80s and the 90s, they I've watched so many like American, Japanese, British shows, and they all had freaking Italian names. And I was like, oh, this is, seems, this seems like, even as I'm four years old, I was like, this seems weird. Is that where the water was supposed to come out? I think it is. But I mean, technically we are reopening the basin. It looks like a neuron. about to say is that water but no i think it's just is that gonna open oh 
Oh, 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 they are all right then. Oh, very windy, huh? Is that an updraft? Mirage. Yeah, wind is going up. They added a Chan Kun summer. That felt so off. I can't imagine that sounds off, yeah. I mean, even if they did it in Italian, it would sound so weird. This is really cool. All right, then. Oh, oh, oh. Depending on the direction of the wind, the distance of adjustment may be increased or decreased. I see. Goodness me. This is going to be a whole thing, huh? Hello? What was making that sound? Okay, now the wind is blowing there. Oh, wait, is it... Do I have to time it? I think I have to time it. There we go. Oh, come on, really? Bloody hell. Oh. That is... I don't understand. Is that not what I have to do? Oh, okay, that was way different now. <laughs> yeah, it is all timed. my hands it's just the wind yeah just the wind uh okay look at me with a little monkey I need to... I need to grab this. I need the checkpoint. <gasps> Whoa, the wind! 
Hello. It's just the wind. <laughs> wrapped around that plant was cool though it really was that was actually good um do i have to go there do i have to go higher on this thing? i think i have to go that way Come on, good stuff. Okay, holy shit, man. I mean, I don't exactly know what I'm doing here. But like I want to go that way. There you go. Dude, I keep tabbing to the to the stream and I accidentally tab into Google with the pom bar open and I'm I, I feel like I'm eating chips now. I keep seeing it, I need to stop. Apparently we have these in Italy. I'm gonna have to look for them now. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to look for pom bars. Oh, that was the battle of evacuation. People yelling, screaming, just running out of the way. Hmm. Must have been rough around here. I guess the parts that were higher up got hit the worst and first. Oh, look, I'm trying to... Try to go against the wind now. Interesting. <gasps> oh man, wind died. You ready? Hello? What's that sound? I'm sure it's fine. 
I'm sure it's nothing. I guess if you have this much wind, you just use it, right, for power. So I understand all these uh, windmills and everything. Oh, whoa, 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 That wind was so strong it was actually disrupting my stamina. Holy. There is something here with me. I don't know what that is, but it doesn't sound very happy. Greetings. I waited for your craftspeople to arrive several sleep ago, but they never landed. When can I expect you? We're patching things up as best we can, but the wind is scaring away everything in its path and the roof won't hold that much longer. The situation is getting urgent. I hope this reply doesn't reach you too late. The relays have been malfunctioning recently. I apologize, but due to the storm, we are no longer able to travel to your, travel to your altitude. The danger is too great. My only advice is to take shelter. An emergency shelter is being set up here for you high dwellers. May rain fall on you and your loved ones. You have my full support. Yikes. No more rain, huh? And crazy winds. So the... I guess we, they had wind, but not this strong. Something happened. Whoa, 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 what's that? The big FES drop for some reason. The Shisan continues to carry the ocean away. That's what we heard on the sun side. The temperature keeps on rising. Here, a storm is raging and doesn't seem to be letting up. Everything around us is coming to standstill. Or maybe we've been at the standstill for too long. We won't be able to nest all the middle much longer. That I know. But we can't leave without putting up a fight. In the meantime, we've entrusted our little Ola to my sibling. They're traveling downwards with their family, like most of the other high dwellers. Ola should be safe under the stone. I already miss my little nestling smile. We'll see each other again when the clouds decide. And all these people getting separated by the insane changes. What was the root cause of it, though? Don't think we know. Like the rain at some point just stopped. But there must have been something that started it. Also, I can't really understand what I'm looking at here. I see people swimming, but the shape is kind of weird. It looks like some weird cell or like an organism or even an organ. Organs. I like organs. to climb. Okay, so I have to wait until the wind dies. Jesus. I can really easily fight it, though. But it was degrading my, um, my maximum stamina, even. The game is lagging. The game is actually dropping frames left and right. What the hell is going on? Oh. 
Why can I not? Oh, there we go. Don't drop. Dude, I'm barely fighting it. The wind, the game does not like the wind. Let me out of here. Dude, please. I don't know if it's the particles or what is it, but the game really does not like it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy now. Dude, it's bad. Is it just around here? Yeah, this zone is running... ...cruelly... ...awfully. Oh my god. I need to do something about it. not have some sort of FSR. I mean, I don't really have FSR, do I? That's AMD. Is this not optimized for NVIDIA? Does it not have DLSS? I guess not. I'm going to lower the general quality then. I'm going to put it to uh, high instead of maximum. Surely that will do. That did it. Yeah, it's super smooth now. Okay. Don't know what changed really, but the game looks exactly like it did before. Becca was right. Oh, is this finally? This is another Bianca's update. Logbook. Becca was right. The water creatures were incredible. Huge. So, ballasts are real after all. It was their song I hear sometimes between gusts of wind. We only just caught the glimpse of them, but once we did, nothing else mattered. Everyone went quiet, watching them slowly disappear into the storm. For a long time, no one moved a muscle. Orlo shook his head, staring into space. For a moment, he looked like he'd lost his bearings, same as the rest of us. After the astonishment came the feverish preparations. Around me, the rope team got moving, sharpening their weapons and scanning the clouds. We needed to capture at least one of these flying water tanks. Even Sol ended up grabbing a harpoon. What other hope do we have of bringing the water back? He sounded almost apologetic, but I'm the one who's sorry. Oh, look at them! Oh, it kind of looks like a bigger version of you, my guy. Look, there's tiny ones around them. And they were hunting them down and killing them. That's not right. I guess they really, really, really needed the water, but Jesus. Wait, did I come? Hang on a second. Another way, wasn't there? Oh, no, there wasn't. Okay, never mind. I thought I came from there, but no. Every sleep, I tried to convince Orlo, Sol, and the others to stay. I even threw their harpoons away, at least the ones I could reach. But they were so determined to catch a sky giant and return with its water. To go back to the way life was before. But the way life was before is what brought us here. 
They ventured into the storm to hunt and never returned. I waited for them a long time, lost at sea. I grieved for them, who else but me? They may be gone, but I treasure their memory. I still remember Nazi's advice, Sol's laugh, Arlo's furrowed brow. Sometimes my thoughts turn to my parents, to Emi, Gal and Mette. I wonder where they are and what they're, you, where they're going. If the thoughts drift up here sometimes, they live within me too. At first I kept track of my harvests, but as time went by I ended up losing track. The survivor became an earth scratcher too. What would you make of that, Becca? I'm probably doing it all wrong, but things are growing. Not bad for a girl from low tide. Note to self, I'll have to divide up my garden beds if I want to have enough hard track for the cycles to come. Don't know when I decided to stay up in the crow's nest, it just happened. I'm happy here. I wish I could talk to the young Bianca who left low tide, who only ever thought of leaving, moving, too impatient for a stationary world. You'd probably find it quite ironic, but this climb, already so long ago now, taught me to live in the present moment. It took me a while, but I finally put down roots. With each passing sleep, I understand it more clearly. The tower needs me, needs us all. It needs us to change, and if we have to change our way of being, might as well start here. I never belonged in low tide, a lighthouse keeper in an oceanless world. But since I met the ballasts, I feel like I've found something I didn't know I'd lost. A fragile link to something bigger than myself. A mutual respect. I'm nothing compared to these water giants who swim through the storm, but they look at me with interest and curiosity. They watch me when I carve my scraps of wood, when I bring in the harvest, when I write. As if to learn or to remember. I want to stay here in case someone else is crazy enough to try and find them. They watch over me and I watch over them in turn. As the ballast draw near, the cliffs wake up. Even I feel like I stand taller and feel lighter, more alert. Younger, even. <laughs> These arthritic joints have creaked for a long time now, but you get the idea. I wonder how long the ballast kept me company in my Spartan existence. They eventually left, one by one. I know they're out there somewhere, though. One of them stayed, comes to see me from time to time, like it's watching over me. We want each other to grow, we watch each other grow older. We go about our business knowing the other's there and that's enough. And it gives me someone to talk to. I'm happy. I'm what I'm meant to be. What I need to be now. Bianca. Holy crap, that was like years and years. I mean, there's not much here, but I guess she made a little bunker down there. Oh, hello? What the? <laughs> what the hell was that? I jumped too high. Okay, I managed anyway. Rest. We found the last place of uh, Bianca's permanence around here, I think. Oh no, she, did she die here? Honestly, this mountain doesn't seem much higher anymore. Get up 
there. Come on. Do it. Do it, my little monkey. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Wind is really strong up here. Oh, come on. I can hear them. Whoa. There is more. More places where people sit down. Is this where they uh, set for hunting those things? Ballasts? I don't think I got the achievement for the stony thing. I mean, I, do, I don't think I have achievements here, but... Either. I thought I would see harpoons around here, honestly. Okay, that's that's it. I mean, it's not really, but it seems like that's it. Go on, kid. Pipe it. this gonna fix the winds <gasps> we're gonna see one Real ballast, like a big one. <gasps> Holy shit. Hello. Look, they have a water belly. That's your daddy? You're gonna become like that? You think this is the one that was uh, looking after Bianca, maybe? The one that stayed behind when the others moved. It's giving me a lift. Oh my god. Oh, thank you, big boy. Look at that. We're flying. This is some um, Shadows of the Colossus kind of thing. <laughs> is this my boss fight? Okay, this is my boss fight. I mean, it's not really a boss. I'm not trying to defeat it or anything, but... Whoa, wee, whoa, 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 wee. What's that? What, they want me to anchor? good music in this entire game just lovely where 
almost at the peak. Must be really cold. Holy moly, what is going on here? Oh, it's freezing. Yo, what are you doing? Don't die. Don't crash into it with me. Is that all the water? It wasn't coming down. What happened here? Oh god, it... That doesn't seem good. Crashing. Jesus! No! Ballast boy, why... Why did you do that? Oh, my little one is freezing as well. I mean, they are made of water, so I guess they just freeze. Put it in, put it in your pop, uh, under your thing, under your coat. Thank you, big one. Don't die on me, please. CG. Holy shit, dude. this looks awesome. Is it breathing? I mean, stupid question. I don't know. I didn't know if they breathed in the first place, so I can't really tell. Obelisk. Hurry, I'm going as fast as I can. My little thing is freezing. I can't even. That's a lot of water. That is going to kill me if I release that into the world. Because this big crater looks like it was supposed to hold all the water, but then if it just crashes on me all at once, I think I'm gonna die instantly. Absolutely devastated by the insane amount of pressure and the volume of that water bubble. Unless my little one helps me. Wait, are these? Oh, shoot. These are frozen ballasts all over. What the heck? That's a freaking cemetery. Is that constellation? Do I have to climb the constellations? Yes, I do. Uh, but let me go inside first. See what's up. Oh. This collapsed. It's supposed to be some sort of temple. I can't use this power. 
It's sad. It is freezing, so I, it just doesn't have enough voice to release it. Hey, okay, what do you want me to do? I can't climb if I'm holding this. I have to put it down somewhere? Want me to climb this? Hmm. What the? I'm stuck. Help me. I'm stuck. I'm actually stuck. I'm trying to dislodge myself. Okay, Jesus. I, I don't know what I have to do. What do you want me to do? I thought I had to climb there, but... My guy's just holding this little creature. Put it in the backpack. What are you doing? I suppose you're here. I have to just. There's no way I have to leave. Like, that's clearly where I have to go. Yeah, there's an invisible wall here. Oh, there we go. That was like one very specific step I had to get close to in order to put that away. Okay. Fair enough. And here we go, guys. Okie dokes. So. That's not the way. Already not a good start. What? Are you serious? what I would like to say. There is no checkpoint. Oh. 
are multiple ways up. I don't know which one is the best one, but... It's probably not that one. Uh, in fact, this just sucks, doesn't it? Uh, this is a tough climb. <sighs> if you don't have enough rope laid, find a way to retrieve some length or rewind it. Or rewind it. I supposed to do that? Dude, they never told me any of this. How the f I don't know. I don't know. They never told me how to do this. Otherwise, I, uh, I thought I could just cut the thing, but there is no button to retrieve it. This sucks. I have to basically redo everything. Can you do it without the rope? No, it literally wants me to... I can't even jump down. No, it automatically sets that up there. I think I have to do it without latching onto anything. That's the thing. That's how I do it. You can see now that that wasn't fixed to anything, uh, I do have enough rope length. Put that there.
and then I can just try to figure out the rest. I'm gonna have to keep the main rope length in the middle. nearly fell I wish they just told me about this mechanic a little bit earlier in the game you know <laughs> basically doing the end climb the final climb and they just introduce a new mechanic so when i'm like that i suppose that's fine I can probably try to put that there. Okay. I think I have to go up this way. Do I? Can I even reach that? The double jump? No, I don't think I can. Yeah, but then, oh, that way. Holy shit. Okay. Don't know about that rope. Okay. Oh, checkpoint, I suppose. was a rough climb you know if it's the last one fair enough oh my god my guy what are you doing with that there if it's the last climb fair enough My world, I suppose. I'm not gonna survive this. coming back to life oh they weren't dead <laughs> that's good that's very good oh 
Oh, look at them. They're all pulsing together now. Bye, my friend. Go and fulfill your purpose. <laughs> On then. Stay with your kind. That was way too sweet. Oh, look, that's the one that carried us over here. Training. A second if the ocean comes back what happens to all the people that move to the oasis are they gonna just get flooded and die they just kill millions of people Dude, that was really good. That was really, really good. I love these short games that have a very specific idea in mind it's well developed it doesn't overstay it's welcome there's just enough um lore around it to give you a good feeling of what went down what's going on i and you know it also has a relatively interesting game mechanic like the the climbing thing i don't know it, it was just very good well designed awesome environment awesome characters uh very cool story very original like idea in general of this Tower where people live and the ocean and the rain. I, I it was really cool. It was just very well made. A real pleasure to play uh, through a game like this. I wonder how long, uh, like how much time has passed between Bianca's and all the notes we've read and when we did the climb. It all looks very old, but loving to see you playing during at some point. Yeah, I, I definitely have to at some point.
like what journey is for Sano Steam. I would guess, without knowing anything, I would guess uh, this Christmas. Usually there is a big uh, Steam sale and most games are on sale. And it's usually the best sale there is. Uh, Steam Winter Sale is one of the best of the entire year. Six bucks? Uh, not sure. I would actually, I would have to check on um, is there any deal dot com. Uh, I can check. Let's uh, let's continue. I mean, at this point, I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, no. Uh, that was Jusant, everybody. Jusant, even. I don't know how you pronounce that, but uh, very good game. I did enjoy it quite a lot. Did enjoy it. A game was played, and this time it was actually very cool.